What's up everyone, welcome back to the Hunter's Guide. That's what this playthrough is called. Sometimes I get my shit mixed up, even though I did finish the Demon Souls run, the spell only run, so there is nothing to cause confusion anymore. Yeah, uh, we're going to be continuing on in this playthrough. Uh, basically clearing out Sense Fortress, I think, is going to be our main task here. That's gonna take barely any time. Um, well, it will take time if I fail my parries like that. I mean, we did upgrade our weapons, so we are now in a good spot for basically everything. And I did forget to kindle the bonfire. Hey, okay, thanks. Give me a free large shard, actually. Yeah, definitely. I'll take a free large shard if they're giving it away. And you know, I've just noticed that I'm required to use my little face cam light more and more nowadays. It's getting dark like hell. Oh, this is gonna be a fucking... Oh, he's an idiot. It's a bow and arrow battle that I'm definitely gonna win. Because <laughs> this fool, this fool is dumb as hell. Uh, okay. Bruh. He hit me. Well done. Okay. You can get like... One in... Ten hits at least. Okay, I'm not doing too much better. Uh, I will say that. I think we just need to bait him. Wow. Ricard. That was extremely intelligent. I salute you. Y the NPC AI in this game is truly, truly something to behold. So, I got distracted because that was wild as hell. But yeah, we. I unfortunately need my little light earlier and earlier when I'm recording. It's just going into winter. It's been crazy. Although, to be honest, I don't know about where you guys live. I, I'm talking like I'm fucking streaming. Uh, here, the fall has been pretty good weather-wise. Can't really complain. Basically, we've barely had any, like, truly awful weather. Of course, it's cold. Like, you wouldn't expect anything but it being cold. But... Generally, uh, not much rain, no like ice so far, nothing, like winter still hasn't properly kicked in, even though we do get minuses, so there is like some advantage to that. Apparently people are saying it's going to be cold as fuck this winter here, but it's also going to be pretty dry, which... Ah, it would be nice to get some snow, but I wouldn't really mind really cold, but like sunny winter. The thing that drives me fucking insane during winters is the lack of sun. Like, last... Okay, thank fuck. I always think I'm gonna miss that, but I never like really do. Last winters we had like periods where it was gray out for like a week and a half. Which is just a little bit... I need five of these. Yeah, that's, that's way too expensive. Uh, I will be able to, I think... Yeah. At least get the... Fuck. At least get the short sword. Not the short sword, the scimitar upgraded. But I'm not gonna do that. I will wait until Anne Orlando, because I'm too lazy to go down to Andre again. Okay. So let's just get this show on the road. Uh, I'm gonna do it. Like, you, you guys know I'm gonna do it. You're not gonna be surprised by me summoning Iron Tarkus. You know my general attitude on not having Tarkus in your playthrough. It's basically a disgrace. And I'm definitely gonna be running support for him via my trusty bow and arrow, so he's gonna take the heat 
as he should again anybody who has played world of warcraft knows what a tank is for says someone who has not played world of warcraft actually but even i know the deal league of legend or any moba applies to watch this Look at me running support. That's how you do it. Okay. Hold on. Is he gonna... You gotta recognize when you need to go in. Um, this is just... This guy's just getting demolished. Tarkus is really on his shit today. Sometimes he acts dumb. This was not one of those cases. Uh, this will clear that shit out mad quickly whoops I don't think I've ever hit the capture button on my PlayStation 5 huh cool that's what I was trying to do thanks Tarkus you are a hero I will admit that I was not the most useful uh, supporting archer in the world I didn't really do much there but hey, you gotta you gotta take the main you gotta let the main man take the show a bit. That's what Tarkus is for. So I didn't really think I would clear this place out in eight minutes. Recording time too, I have some shit to cut out, so that is pretty crazy. The power of the Tark. This place looks nice. I wonder, I do really wonder whether if I switched back to the PlayStation 4 version I'd be able to see any difference because all of the games are supposed to have some upscaling here on PlayStation 5 but I wonder how noticeable it is. Not gonna find out because I sold my PlayStation 4. Quite a good price actually too. Which was nice. You know like I'm always, I always have the attitude with these Sort of like game consoles and shit that if it can go somewhere where it will be useful you know what's the point of having it sit at your home unused you know because it's not like with modern game consoles you're not gonna have that effect that you had in like the 90s or even earlier where something is like something might become rare later down the line Pretty much so many PS4s, Xboxes have been sold, even going back to the PlayStation 2 era, so many of them have been sold that it's never gonna be like, whoa, PS4, that's so rare. You know, like you would with, I don't know, like an Intellivision or something. I'm still hesitating on what to do with my PS3, because I also have one of those. Hmm. Let's get 30 and get HP as well. We need to get some HP too. Not much, we're not gonna pump it much further than 20, really. Cool. I think I have two of these too, don't I? No, I don't. Doesn't matter. Yeah, let's head into An Orlando. So yeah, as a, that's my, again, what I was saying, I don't know what to do with the PlayStation 3. I still have it, like it's over there in a cupboard. Because PlayStation 3 games, most of them I think do work with the 5. I'm not sure. I think there is less compatibility. But I don't know what, what game is there really on PlayStation 3 at this point that is like not even available. Demon's Souls was the main one, honestly. But that issue has been remedied. I think I'm some shitty ones. I still have the stupid Dragon game. You guys remember that Dragon game from like the PlayStation 5 launch, not 5, PlayStation 3 launch? Fuck, what is it called? Uh, all I know is that it works using the 
six axes, the motion. Whoa, that's an interesting hitbox. The stupid motion controller of the PlayStation 3, which, you know, talk about something that didn't really take off. It's funny, everybody was trying to emulate the Wii. Okay. What? <laughs> this is so dumb. I just made fun of Ricard for being a terrible shot. And look what happens. <sighs> I almost <laughs> I almost just said time to put on the cling ring. <laughs> but no, no, it's not time to put on the cling ring because there is no cling ring. You don't nothing happens if you die in this game, aside from losing your souls. Unbelievable. Like she shoots straight through... Oh, there we go. See, you can hit it while air... What the hell is going on? So yeah, you can hit it airborne. I... Uh, unbelievable. I'm getting my ass kicked by a stupid gargoyle. One of the, like, simplest enemies in the game at this stage, at least. It should be the simplest. Yeah, that was not, not my proudest moment, I will admit. Oh yeah, speaking of... I need to start picking up the Demon Titan Knights. Because, as you know, Fury Sword... Fury Sword is gonna be our main thing, and we need the Demon Titan Knight to get all that shit. Oh, that's the only one here. Yeah, I completely forgot that this is the place we're going to be getting our main weapon as well. Oh yeah? Ambush? I don't think so. Such a weird attack. The Raptors should be good. Good in the sense that I'll be able to range attack them. Don't tell me that's not the weirdest attack in this entire game. Probably not, there's some like weird shit in this game. But that one is up there. Like, how does that attack make any sense? We're gonna be getting into the territory where we start being able to afford some of the better arrow types. Fuck, I completely forgot that we need to... I should have picked up poison arrows. Ah. These From South boys were smart when they introduced being able to teleport anytime. Because I just realized that one of the biggest advantages of being able to run a bow build is being able to cheese the archer section here in An Orlando. But I ain't gonna be able to do that. Because the giant is... No, the giant is not accessible before that side. No, it's not. No, it's not. Because you need to unlock the door. Yeah. It's a long way back. It's a long way back to the undead merchant. The question is, is your boy willing to make that journey? No, he's not. He ain't. All right, let's turn this thing. Sorry, checking my phone. Or we can let the cutscene play. The cutscene. Not the, not the biggest cutscene in the world, but it's here. What the hell are you doing? I'm really wondering. It's gotta be the case, right? That... Oh, 
fucking hell. This is like the theme for today that I'm getting my ass kicked by these things. Oh man, red deer stone is so strong. Yeah, they, they, these are like literally impossible to hit. Second time I've been killed by the gargoyle. <sighs> cool. Well done, Mr. Sketchhead. Great gameplay so far. Okay. Third time showdown with the gargoyles. Should have bought, brought Solaire along. Why do I keep saying bot? I don't know. Got money on my mind. The cash, you know. God, that's such a weird attack. I love it though. Alright. Where the hell is my blood stain? Oh, it's up there. Okay. Uh, we need to move it this way. If it takes us down, I'll just hit the bonfire. They don't know. Okay, good. I I got it. They don't normally move this thing up. In fact, you, it's never needed. Uh, but yeah, let's get down to the bonfire quickly. Whoa, yeah. So I was gonna say before I got embarrassingly killed by the gargoyle, I wonder if this still this area is still a no backstab zone. If you don't know, uh, doing PvP on this uh, like rotating bridge locks you out of being able to do critical attacks. So I think backstabs and reposts as well. And I think it has to do something with the like the positioning. Like the game locks it out because uh, if it was rotating and you did a backstab, it was screw with I don't know, like character placement. But this was a quite popular PvP spot because, as you guys know, backstabs are insane in this game. Lag stabs even more so. So you know the primo tactic was just go here. Of course the thing about using this bonfire, the only thing that's annoying is that you always have to move the platform, but you know, it's not a big deal. This is pretty much your best option for this section. God, I'm pissed about the poison arrows. Uh, I should have thought about this before, but it's okay. We're generally gonna survive, I think, it's not the end of the world. This is one of those just run through sections anyways, in my opinion. I'm a wonderful shot as well. I wonder if this pushes them back. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. See the thing? Okay. Okay. So I was going to say, and I need to itch my ear. So what I was going to say is... First of all, I hate these enemies. Second of all, the pushback is the easiest way. But one of the things you really learn, like, as you play more souls, is just run past shit. You know, I remember I used to, like, on my first playthrough specifically, I used to, like, obsessively fight every single enemy uh, every single time I went through an area. And looking back at it, I was like, why was I doing that? Uh, of course, you don't have such a good grip on the controls at that point. That could be one of the key issues. You know, like... Because I've always said, you know, the controls are weird in this game a little bit. So maybe, you know, you don't feel as... Comfortable just running and navigating past everything. If he dropped the demon spear, yes he did. 
It's a decent weapon. Basically a lightning spear. <laughs> That's it. Just a different upgrade path. But see, this is normally the place. What you can do is... I'm taking a risk here. Yes, I am. Maybe this is not the place, but I could have sworn there is a spot where you can shoot them with poison arrows and they're not able to shoot you back. Um, apparently that was not the spot to do that because it kind of didn't work. But there is a place you can do that from safely. And the idea is if you're really having trouble with this section is just to poison them. My option, I think, would be if I can use this fucking thing now. Still. Unbelievable. It's a piece of wood. It's a fucking piece of plank. And I'm not able to hold it and fast roll. Oh well. Okay, so basically we're just gonna do the... OG way of getting through here, which is just to parry them. Uh, okay then. One thing for sure, now I feel a little bit less bad about forgetting poison arrows. Come on, switch. If I'd say, if I had to pick the enemy I was most comfortable with parrying, on the stupid hitbox of the scimitar. Um, I'd say this guy. Like, you learn to parry this guy so well. It's kind of crazy. They're pretty predictable, too, with how they attack. It's one of the things that makes it not so much of a hassle. Made it. Huh? Hold on. Why Salerno? I definitely summoned him for gargoyles. When did I miss him? Because well, you don't have to summon him for gaping. Do you? Hold on a second. Let me just... Let me just think about this. I actually have no idea. Pretty sure that was a requirement to get him here. You just have to summon him. Why am I yawning? It's probably because it's dark out. Uh, whatever. It's, I will survive without Solaire. It's just... It's just weird. Come on, wooden shield. <gasps> no. For a fraction of a second, I was really hopeful. Damn parries, though. Get on my level. Cool. I'm gonna do the shortcut. The other thing I need to remember is Onion Bro is here as well. God, that crush stab. That looks painful. But these guys, I think, are pretty much like ghosts within their armor. And that's not like a poetic reference or nothing. There we go, my favorite exploit. My favorite exploit, which I think the devs probably like this as well, because if they didn't, it would have been patched out already. I mean, it would be very easy to put on invisible wall over there, but what's the point, you know? Yeah, that's the thing that sucks about uh, the scimitar type weapons. They have this like stupid left-right swinging moveset uh, in two-handed mode and it gets caught up in a lot of stuff like walls tight areas. 
the true like elite PvPers carry a backup weapon just in case. At least that's how I remember the meta being. Anyways, let's go visit our blacksmith friend. First of all, he has weapons for way cheaper. I mean, not weapons, upgrades for way cheaper. But he has something else as well, entirely. Blah, 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 entirely. He has arrows. Moonlight arrows, good shit. Dragon Slayer arrows, good shit. Lightning bolts, very good shit. But we're not gonna be able to use that for quite a bit. I mean, we can, but it's just, you know, not worth it. Uh, here's the deal, boys. Reinforce this. Modify. And Quelag's Fury Sword. We have it. And reinforce it for good measure as well. What am I lacking? 5,000 souls. That is an easy fix, to say the least. Cool. We have a Fury Sword plus two. I love this weapon. This weapon is... This weapon is sick. I mean, the effects on it... The remaster certainly makes this look better. I would say that this and the gold tracer, I mean the gold tracer is the ultimate scimitar or falchion type weapon, but this and maybe the standard falchion are close seconds. I mean the thing is, this thing has such good range, fuck, it's heavy. Uh, how about now? Cool. Okay, we're gonna have to rock it without the helmet for a little bit. Which sucks, but... It's a sacrifice we need to make. Yeah, this thing looks so cool. And the moveset is good as well. Uh, it has this, like, nice swinging motion. This is a solid, solid weapon, to say the least. Another important piece of gear is right here, the Hawk Ring. Extends bow range. Just to be thematic, I'm gonna use it. This plus the longbow plus feather arrows, you can truly get some insane uh, range. Which reminds me, we need to pick up more standard arrows, that is a lot. <laughs> I mean, fuck it. Soon you're able to completely max your shit out. Uh, it's that easy. Unfortunately, the Hawk Ring doesn't actually do anything concerning bow damage. But it's a welcome change. Not welcome change, it's a welcome addition, I should say. You see, it shoots like a motherfucking rocket out of your um, bow. Am I going to be able to stun lock this guy? <laughs> yes, I am. If you're wondering what the extended range does, it allows for shit like this. I mean, it technically it does affect damage because both damage drops off the further you are. And since this extends the range, uh, you're going to be able to get more damage. That was kind of sick. So that's the Hawk Ring for you. We have another piece of gear. Actually, I was just thinking there's a lot of hunter related stuff here which is the dragon slayer great bow i'm not sure i'm able to use this i'm not what am i missing 20 strength interesting that I don't have the weird what's my strength 18 huh does 
do bows not count as being wielded two-handed for the strength requirement? Apparently not. That's something I didn't know. Discover all sorts of new shit in a playthrough like this. I'll be able to demonstrate the great bow, don't worry. Don't you worry. It's just we're gonna have to hold off just a tiny bit. And I think with that, boys, uh, we have come to the end of another episode of the Hunter's Guide. This was a fun one, made some good progress, and generally everything is coming along nice and smooth in this playthrough. No issues so far. So next time we are going to Ornstein and Smo, and I will just continue on in the less interesting half of the game. Definitely going for stuff like compound bow and shit like that. So new Londo is going to be a priority. Until then, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And I hope to catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.